Thursday at the Sheridan in Universal City, the Southern California Golf Association inducted two new members into their Hall of Fame. Jane Booth and Mary B. Porter King, two former Arizona State Sun Devils and women's golf icons, were honored for their achievements and service to the game during a formal luncheon. Well, it's a great honor. Uh, I'm really excited about it, especially going in with uh, Mary B. Porter King. She was a long, she's a longtime friend of mine. We played at ASU together, and uh, it's just a great, great day for me. Well, this is where I started. So I grew up here in California, and um, it's where I learned to play. It's where I learned all the. It's my foundation of the game. So to be honored where I think where you grew up and where you started, I think was the greatest honor. Booth began playing golf when she was 10 and went on to win the 1969 NCAA championship whilst at ASU. She was also a member of three consecutive Curtis Cup teams winning in the 1970s. Porter King was a four sport athlete at Arizona State, winning national championships in softball and golf. Starting golf at the age of seven, she always dreamed of playing in the LPGA and turned this dream into a reality in 1973. After retiring from the LPGA, she dedicated herself to growing youth golf in Hawaii. She was awarded as the PGA First Lady of Golf in 2011 for her efforts. It's what they've given back to golf, which was really special. And then the added um, opportunity to have two people that were contemporaries uh, to come on at the same time, we just thought this was great. But you know what makes them really special is, is their dedication, particularly to junior golf, both of them. Before their acceptance speeches, Two paintings done by world-renowned PGA artist Scott Medlock were unveiled in their honor. For both inductees, this was a great way to recognize their dedication to the game. Booth and Porter King grew up playing together in Southern California, but once their junior golf days were over, they remained fierce competitors and friends. And so I think it was possibly one of the reasons I turned professional so I wouldn't have to try to beat Jane, but uh, she was a wonderful player, a really mighty might, and, uh, she didn't hit it far, but she certainly hit it straight and scored well, and, and a very accomplished player. Both recipients plan to continue their mission to encourage junior golfers in the sport they both love.